Good afternoon, all of you. Am I audible? Okay, so we are going to start with a revision of chapter number six. Already we have finished uh, the first five chapters. Yesterday's lecture we have completed with chapter number five, that is visible lines and visible surfaces. And now we are going to start with uh, chapter number six, that is curves. So basically we will start with the definition of curve. So when I say curve, what comes in your mind? So, when I say curve, a, you are going to imagine like arc-like structure or a sinusoidal wave. So, all these are the examples of curve. So, the mathematical definition of a curve is it is a set of points collect, connected together. It is a set of points connected together. So if I'm having, suppose, if I'm uh, drawing here something, it is the set of points, right? I'm drawing here number of points. So I can say this is a set of points. And when I'm going to join it, when I'm going to join it, it is giving me a curve. So whether line can be a curve, whether the line can be a curve? Yes. So according to mathematical definition, what is the definition? We are having the number of points, that is set of points are there, that is the first criteria. And the second criteria is they should be connected together. The number of points are still and connect that becomes curve. So here, due to mathematical definition or with respect to mathematical definition, the line can be also a curve. Similarly, you can have connect collection of points. And when I am going to draw the connecting line or the connecting Point. arc or the connecting uh, what we can say segment then it will form a curve. So that is the mathematical definition of a curve. The another definition of a curve is you can start drawing the any shape. You can start drawing any shape by putting the pen on paper. Like Nehemi upon pen paper work and we are drawing any particular shape without halting or without any gap. Jarmi drawing karala salu kela and without halting and without any gap, Jarmi the drawing complete karata self that becomes the curve. So it is another definition. First is number of points connected together is forming a curve. Or you can start drawing with pen and paper and without halt or without gap, if you get something that is also called as a curve. So that is the definition of curve. Then let us see. Uh, so, okay. So we can say that if I'm drawing a square, it is a curve because I have not lifted my pen till I get that square. Or even if I'm drawing a circle, then it is one form of curve because I'm not lifting my pen while drawing it. Similarly, you can have a 
वन एच पार्ट ऑफ द सर्कल और यू कैन हैव अ कर्व ओनली और दैट इज आर्क सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर कंसिडर्ड एज कर्व बिकॉज वी आर सेटिस्फाइंग बोथ द डेफिनेशन वी आर हैविंग द सेट ऑफ पॉइंट एंड वी आर कनेक्टिंग दैम टूगेदर एंड वी आर ड्रॉइंग द शेप विदाउट लिफ्टिंग द पेन सो बोथ द डेफिनेशन आर सेटिस्फाइड एंड दैट्स वाय दीज ऑल थिंग्स आर कंसिडर्ड एज कर्व सो दिस कर्व आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स वन इज कॉल्ड एज और रादर दे आर ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स फर्स्ट इज एक्सप्लिसिट कर्व इम्प्लिसिट कर्व एंड पैरामेट्रिक कर्व सो देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कर्व दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी नाउ सो कर्व कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेश रिप्रेजेंटेड इन थ्री वेज फर्स्ट इज एक्सप्लिसिट सो वॉट डू अंडरस्टैंड विथ एक्सप्लिसिट कर्व सो इट इज फॉलोइंग द मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन लाइक वाई इक्वल टू एफ एक्स एफ ऑफ एक्स रादर सो वेन एवर एनी एक्सप्रेशन इज फॉलोइंग दिस मैथमेटिकल टर्म और दिस मैथमेटिकल फॉर्म देन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज एक्सप्लिसिट कर्व फॉर एग्जाम्पल वॉट इज द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ लाइन और वॉट इज द फॉर्म्यूला फॉर लाइन वाई इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस सी वाई इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस सी इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन सी इज कॉन्स्टेंट दैट मीन्स अल्टीमेटली योर वाई वैल्यू इज डिपेंडेंट अपॉन एक्स एंड दैट इज नथिंग बट वाई इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स so line also becomes your curve and it is the explicit representation of a curve similarly the second type of representation is implicit representation so implicit representation follows this particular pattern f of x comma y equal to 0 so can you uh, tell me any expression in which you are taking the benefit of two parameters here we have taken the benefit of single parameter that is here y is the dependent variable on x x is called as independent right because uh, as x is changing your y is also changing so x is called as independent variable where y is called as dependent variable similarly implicit representation is having a particular expression where function is acting on both x and y function is acting on both x and y for example if i am having the expression of circle what is the formula for circle you are having x square plus y square equal to r you are having this formula with you that is the uh of uh, the formula for the circle so if i am going to take this r square on the left hand side i am going to get uh, x square plus x square plus y square x square plus y square minus r square equal to 0 so whether it is satisfying the same expression f of x comma y equal to 0 yes so now the function is dependent on both x and y values and it is assigned a zero result to it so in the implicit function the function is the uh, function gives dependency with two parameters x comma y and the example is circle and in that way circle is also a kind of curve because we are here learning the curve representation techniques so explicit curve that is nothing but a line implicit curve representation that is nothing but the circle or it can be oval so all these expressions will give you the implicit representation then comes the parametric curve so here parametric curve is nothing but it is uh, the va variable is dependent upon a parameter so here parameter is t so we are denoting the function in terms of a parameter so here the function is represented in terms of 
the external parameter. So in the first expression, you are having the T as a parameter. In the second expression, you are having U parameter. And your X and Y values are dependent upon those T and U values respectively. So this type of expression is called as parametric representation. You can have the Z value also if a three-dimensional uh, coordinate is considered then you can have the function z value is dependent upon the any t u v value suppose so here v is acting as the parameter on which your z is dependent so this is the third form of representation of a curve that is parametric representation Okay, so now we have seen the three ways to represent a curve that is explicit, then implicit and parametric. So in parametric, you have found that the expression is not in terms of x comma y, but it is in terms of a third parameter that is called as t or u or v. So the function is not in the terms of x, y, but it is in the terms of t, u, v. So th that is called as parametric. Okay, so next we are going to learn about the spline curve representation. So what is first spline that we are going to learn? So uh, in earlier days, spline is nothing but, uh, or it is also called as the, uh, it is uh, derived from the tree. That is called as spline. So it is the, one kind of tree and we are taking out the skin of that tree and that is used earlier in earlier days to represent the different shapes which are not possible with the help of line like if i want to uh, draw the shape of a uh, let us say if i want to design the ship so i am going to use the skin of that tree to show the shape of this ship. So I can bend that skin, which was very flexible in nature. And I can bend that ship. I can, sorry, I can bend that skin to form any design. And that's why the name is given as spline. And everywhere you can find that these splines are nothing but the thin skin of tree, which is a uh, for which you are going to assign some weights. What is the meaning of that? So I will show you uh, the diagram. Like suppose this is the spline, that is the skin of the tree and I'm going to attach weight to it. I'm going to attach weight to the skin. So if I want to get this type of shape to represent, then what I should do, I should give smaller weight at this particular point and I should give the larger weight to this portion so that it will be bend more. And that's why we are going to have the spline where we are attaching the less weight at both the terminals and the equal amount of high weight for this particular portion. Why equal amount? Because we want to have the horizontal line as a base of the ship. So we are going to attach the equal amount of weight all over this section. And this weight is larger in nature. So we are going to have the larger weight assigned to this portion. And for this particular region, I can say for this particular region, the weight will be in increasing order. 
म्हणजे कॉर्नरला तुम्हाला कमीत कमी वेट लावायचे कारण यू डोंट वॉन्ट एनी चेंज ऑन दिस टू कॉर्नर्स देन यू हॅव टू इन्क्रीज द वेट बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट द डेप्थ टू बी म्हणजे तिथे डेप्थ आणण्यासाठी यू हॅव टू अटॅच मोर अँड मोर वेट ॲज यू गो टिल दिस पर्टिक्युलर पोर्शन अँड फ्रॉम दिस पोर्शन अप टू दिस पोर्शन यू हॅव टू कीप सिमिलर अमाऊंट ऑफ वेट and then you go on reducing the weight because you want to go move upwards so in earlier days to denote the shape or to design any particular shape for uh, the ships and other things the skin of the tree is used and that uh, tree skin was known as spline and hence the name is also given as spline here uh, this spline is working in the same method that it has some weights attached to it in the spline curve also it is for smoothing purpose or for changing the shape you have to attach some weights to that spline that is the basic idea behind this spline so let us see uh, what is the spline curve representation okay so a spline is used to refer uh, to a wide class of functions that are used in applications requiring data interpolation and smoothing so here we are going to make use of smoothing techniques and uh, the applications which re- which are required in data interpolation this type of curves in the field of computer science because of simplicity of their construction accuracy of evaluation and their capacity to approximate complex shape through curve fitting and interactive curve design so this spline curves method just now i told just by attaching the weights we can change the shape of that spline and uh, we can easily fit the shape so whatever the shape may be by adjusting just the weight attached to it we can change the shape and that's why the curve fit for curve fitting this particular uh, method is very uh, simple to use and accurate then it produces smooth curves through a designated set of points using piecewise cubic polynomial function so here we are going to have the uh, set of points attached and accordingly we are going to set the cubic polynomial function for it now there are two categories which come under this first is called as interpolated spline and second is called as approximated spline so what is the meaning of interpolated spline so consider i am having these sets or uh, these points i am having these points in a set so what is the meaning of interpolation is your curve passes through each and every point in the set if your curve passes through each and every point in the set then it is considered to be interpolated that means whatever the points are given to draw the shape or to draw the Uh, curve the curve passes through all the points so this method is called as interpolated spline and in approximated spline as the name itself gives you if number of points are assigned if number of points are given then it does not pass through all the points but it approximates the shape of those points so it is not actually passing through the points but it is giving you approximately the shape of required thing so that is nothing but the approximated spline so here interpolated spline requires more complex uh, what computation we can say because it needs to fit all the points present but in this case the approximated spline as it's just 
uh, approximates the shape of the curve. So it has the less computation uh, required. So example is given in the next slide. So you can see the interpolation. Interpolation means the curve which is passing through all the control points. So these are control points which controls the shape of the curve. So the first example in which the curve is passing exactly through all the uh, points, all the control points. And in the approximation, the curve does not actually pass through all the points, but the control points have impact on that curve. Control points is having the impact on the shape of the curve. So control points decides the shape, but the curve not actually passes, uh, pass through the uh, all the points. So that is nothing but two methods. So in many of the cases, we are going with the approximation only. So let us start the first type of curve that is called as Bezier curve. So Bezier curve is the example of approximation. Acro approximation. So it has uh, the number of control points and the shape is getting decided by the control points, but it does not pass actually through all the points. And that's why it is uh, it comes under the approximation types. So let us see what is Bezier curve. So a Bezier curve, it, it has certain properties like it uh, always passes through the end points. So if the control, if four control points are there, then control point zero, one, two, three, then it will always pass through control point zero and control point three. And the shape is totally dependent on the control points uh, which are remaining. So this is the property. So Bezier curve is mathematically defined curve used in two dimensional graphics application. So it is very important that a Bezier curve is drawn in 2D graphics. The curve is defined by four points. The initial position and the terminating position, which are called as anchors. So initial and final position, that is end points, we can say. These end points are also called as anchors. And two middle points, these two middle points that are the control points, they are also called as handles. Why they are called as handles? Because it handles the shape of the curve. So the middle points are called handles and the uh, end points are called as anchors. End point any? Nine, 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 nine. So, uh, curve is only passing through the end points. When you have to say that you points, to say that you point to so I will call it as control point zero. This is your second control point one. Then this is your third control point two. And this is your fourth point, which is control point three. So, Control point zero, one, two, and three. Now, what is the property of Bezier curve? Is it passes through first and last control point. When the curve has to the first and last control point, madun compulsory pass hoto. And remaining two control points, jahet, they have impact on the shape. Ata ithe control point one hai, mandla nantar curve control point one kade to thoda sa attract hoil. Control point two could attract oil and then it will pass through the last control point. So that is nothing but your impact on the curve of the control points. So if I am having the control points like this, control point first day, second day, third day. If this is the shape, then it will pass through 0 and 3 compulsory. And one and two will decide the shape. 
मग वन अँड टू मध्ये कसं येईल तो वन कडे अट्रॅक्ट होईल मग टू कडे अट्रॅक्ट होईल आणि मग थ्री कडे जाईल सो द शेप ऑफ द कर्व इज टोटली डिपेंडंट ऑन द कंट्रोल पॉइंट आता पण तुमच्याकडे झिरो आणि थ्री मध्येच कर्व आहे दोन्ही केस मध्ये पण दोन्हीचा शेप वेगळा वेगळा आहे कारण कंट्रोल पॉइंट चे लोकेशन वेगळे वेगळे आहेत सो दिस इज नथिंग बट युअर बिझियर कर्व विच पासेस थ्रू फर्स्ट अँड लास्ट कंट्रोल पॉइंट ओनली अँड द मिडल कंट्रोल पॉइंट आर हॅव्हिंग द इम्पॅक्ट ऑन द शेप ऑफ दोज कर्व अँड दॅट्स वाय अँकर म्हणजे काय असत शिपचा अँकर म्हणजे काय वेन एव्हर यू वॉन्ट टू स्टॉप ऑर वेन एव्हर यू आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ऍट दॅट टाइम दोज अँकर पॉइंट आर ऑर द अँकर इज युजफुल सो दिस आर कॉल्ड ॲज एंड पॉइंट ऑर अँकर पॉइंट फ्रॉम विच युअर कर्व इज आयदर स्टार्टिंग ऑर स्टॉपिंग अँड इन बिटवीन यू आर हॅव्हिंग द हँडल्स बिकॉज द शेप इज हँडल्ड बाय दोज पॉइंट ओके सो द टू सेपरेट मिडल पॉइंट they are called as handles shape of bezier curve can be altered by moving the handles so just now we have seen ithe control points assessil tar tumcha shape asa hota bezier curve cha jevha mi control point 2 shift kela tevha tumcha shape bezier curve cha change jala even mi ajun ha 2 ikade ghetlyanantar to ajun to pudhe move hoil and you will get the curve like this so whenever you are replacing your control points you will be getting change in your shape so the shape of the bezier curve can be altered by moving the handles the mathematical method for drawing the curve were, was created by pierre pierre bezier in 1960s for the manufacturing of automobiles at renault so it was derived or the drawing method was suggested by the pierre bezier and that's why the name is given as bezier curve now what are the properties of the bezier curve that we will learn so first bezier curve is having this expression where pk are nothing but the uh, total number of points or weights attached and b is nothing but the control points so here we are having 0 to n points for that bezier curve so it is possible mostly the bezier curve is uh, of four points only first and last is the control point uh, sorry first and last are the anchors and two control points but it is possible to have more than four also so in that case we will see here the degree of the bezier curve defined by n plus 1 control point is n what is the meaning of it he is far complicated karun sangitle n plus 1 control point asel tar that the degree n aste thodkyat number of control points minus 1 is the degree manje n plus 1 ani n madhe je relation ahe tech n ani n minus 1 madhe so if you are having n control points then you have degree equal to n minus 1 मग आता इथे बघा तीन कंट्रोल पॉइंट्स आहेत सो इट इज द कर्व इज पासिंग थ्रू फर्स्ट अँड सेकंड अँड इट इज शोइंग यू द डिग्री इज इक्वल टू टू सो इट हॅज डिग्री इक्वल टू टू अँड दॅट्स वाय द नेम इज गिव्हन ॲज पॅराबोला कर्व नेक्स्ट यू आर हॅव्हिंग फोर कंट्रोल पॉइंट्स अँड द डिग्री बिकम्स थ्री ॲज द डिग्री इज थ्री द नेम इज गिव्हन ॲज क्युबिक कर्व so cubic curve can be of any shape so here are the more examples of the cubic curve jar four points astil tar te four points ekas line madhe astil kiwa ekas side la astil curve cha kiwa on the both side of the curve astil or you can have any uh, uh, location for those control points so that is the cubic curve and you can have more than four also so here are the five control points present so degree becomes 4 so it is also called as quadratic curve and you can have this curve as quadratic curve nahi 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 it is showing you the approximation to just show you the path 
ऑफ मुवमेंट म्हणजे फर्स्ट सेकंड ही ऑर्डर करण्यासाठी तुम्हाला ते कनेक्टेड आहेत अदरवाईज दे आर नॉट ऍक्च्युली कनेक्टेड दे आर नॉट कनेक्टेड दे आर जस्ट प्रेझेंट रॅन्डमली इन द स्पेस ऑर ऑन द टू डी प्लेन सो दे आर जस्ट रॅन्डमली प्रेझेंट हिअर दे आर कनेक्टेड जस्ट टू शो यू द पाथ हाऊ इज द कनेक्शन म्हणजे सिक्वेन्स काय तुमच्या कंट्रोल पॉइंटचा हे शो करण्यासाठी हे दाखवलेले आहेत फक्त बट देर इज नो कनेक्शन लाईक धिस इन द कंट्रोल पॉइंट ओके सो धिस ब्लेंडिंग फंक्शन वी विल सी इन डेप्थ इन द नेक्स्ट कमिंग स्लाइड्स सो आय विल स्किप धिस स्लाइड वी विल फर्स्ट कॉन्सन्ट्रेट ऑन द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द बिझियर कर हे एक्सप्रेशन आणि त्याचे प्रॉब्लेम आपण एक बघणार आहोत बिझियर कर्वचा सो द सेकंड प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द बिझियर कर्व इज इट पासेस थ्रू द फर्स्ट अँड लास्ट कंट्रोल पॉइंट सो यू कॅन सी हिअर फर्स्ट अँड लास्ट कंट्रोल पॉइंट द कर्व पासेस थ्रू इट सो पी झिरो अँड पी फोर मे बी देन द बिझियर कर्व्स आर टँजंट टू देअर फर्स्ट अँड लास्ट एजेस ऑफ कंट्रोल पॉलिगॉन सो दिस इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट जेव्हा वेन एव्हर वी आर गोईंग टू कनेक्ट द कंट्रोल पॉइंट इन अ सिक्वेन्स जेव्हा आपण कंट्रोल पॉइंट सिक्वेन्सनी कनेक्ट करतो तेव्हा फर्स्ट आणि लास्ट कंट्रोल पॉइंटच्या कनेक्शनचे जे कर्व्स असतील सो जर मी लाईन ड्रॉ केली फर्स्ट अँड सेकंड आणि सेकंड लास्ट आणि लास्ट मध्ये तर ती लाईन नेहमी त्या कर्वला टँजंट असते सो यू कॅन सी हिअर दिस इज युअर फर्स्ट कंट्रोल पॉइंट दिस इज युअर सेकंड कंट्रोल पॉइंट सो व्हेन आय स्टार्ट ड्रॉइंग द कर्व फॉर दिस कर्व द लाईन जॉइनिंग द फर्स्ट अँड सेकंड कंट्रोल पॉइंट इज ऑलवेज टँजंट and same is true for the last also last point madhe pan kay hoil last point la to jithe connect hoto tithun te second last point la connect karnari ji line asel that line is acting as a tangent at first point and at the last point so that is the property of the bezier curve okay uh, all of you are getting this property is there any difficulty here hi reply okay so the bezier curve is having this property that at the first point and at the last point the line connecting the first two control points and last two control points are the tangent so that is the third property of the bezier curve the fourth property is called as the bezier curve lies completely in the convex hull of given control point what is the meaning convex hull is nothing but the polygon which can cover all the points of the uh, given uh, curve ma ta ha polygon mi draw kelela hai which is actually covering manje outside portion the smallest polygon which can cover all the control points the smallest polygon asel which can control all the uh, which can cover all the control points ata jar mi polygon asa draw kela asta smallest polygon या पॉइंट पासून जर इथे तर इट इज नॉट कंटेनिंग दिस पर्टिक्युलर पॉइंट सो यू हॅव टू ड्रॉ अ पॉलिगॉन विच विल कंटेन ऑल द कंट्रोल पॉइंट इन साइड असा जो पॉलिगॉन असेल त्या पॉलिगॉनच्या आतच सो धिस पॉलिगॉन इज कॉल्ड ऍज कॉन्वेक्स हल या पर्टिक्युलर पॉलिगॉनला काय म्हणतात कॉन्वेक्स हल म्हणतात सो द बिझियर कर्व लाईज कम्प्लिटली इन साइड दिस म्हणजे तुम्ही कसाही बिझियर कर्व असेल तुमचा इफ युअर बिझियर कर्व दिस इज युअर कंट्रोल पॉइंट झिरो दिस इज युअर कंट्रोल पॉइंट वन दिस इज युअर कंट्रोल पॉइंट टू अँड दिस इज युअर कंट्रोल पॉइंट थ्री सपोज देन युअर कर्व इज मुव्हिंग इन दिस मॅनर 
and whenever i am drawing the convex hull of all the control points then your curve always lies inside that convex hull so we can see the earlier examples we can see this earlier example so see here if i am going to draw the polygon for this three points i am going to connect first second second third and third first so this triangle is called as convex hull and the whole uh, bezier curve lies inside this convex hull same is true for this i am going to have the convex hull of this particular points so always remember the convex hull will not follow the order of the control points ithe baga tumhi ha tumcha zeroth control point hai ha first hai this is your second control point third control point and fourth control point actually but here the connection in the convex hull is from 1 to 3 it is not following the order of the control points but in short it is covering the whole portion of the control points smallest polygon which will cover the portion of the control points that is nothing but the convex hull and your curve completely lies inside it the curve completely lies inside it that is the property so uh it is the property of the uh, poly uh, bezier curve that it lies completely inside this so you can see here also so the convex hull is shown with this gray color polygon it is not actually following the order or even it is not connected to all the control points हा सगळे कंट्रोल पॉइंट पण कव्हर नाही करत जर तुम्ही हा आउटलाईन बघितलं ह्याचं तर इट इज कंट्रोलिंग ओनली वन टू थ्री फोर अँड फाईव्ह कंट्रोल पॉइंट हे मधले जे कंट्रोल पॉइंट आहेत त्याच्यामध्ये तो कॉन्वेक्स हॉल कनेक्ट पण होत नाहीये बट इट इज कम्प्लिटिंग द होल आउटलाईन अँड दॅट्स वाय युअर बिझियर कर्व लाईज इन साईड दॅट कॉन्वेक्स हॉल ओके so note that not all the control points are on the boundary of the convex hull so just now i told you it is not con uh, connecting to all the control points for example here control point number 3 4 5 6 8 and 9 so these are not the part of the convex hull but they are included inside so this is the fourth property of the bezier curve then next is if i am going to move the control points then the shape of the curve changes so we have already seen that if i am going to move the control point then it changes the shape so here it is shown that this is your first point so earlier control points this was the earlier diagram this was the earlier diagram of the control points so this control point number 0 1 then 2 then 3 here is 4 5 6 7 and 8 so the uh, bezier curve is passing through zeroth number and eighth number point but earlier this red color diagram represents that as this slope so more uh, attention is given to the fourth number point at, as it is away so that is nothing but this red color is showing you the earlier shape of the curve because this line was quite below but as i am going to shift this point upwards now i have changed the shape i have changed the shape 
now the shape has changed from from this four i am lifting this third point here so now the shape is like this now the shape is like this so what happens the due to this raised control points your curve is also raising its height and you are going to get a changed curve with this black color line so that is nothing but ultimately it is going to pass from zero number and eight number because it is the property of the bezier curve that it will pass through first and last but the intermediate shape of the curve will be getting changed if i am moving the control points that is nothing but the property of the bezier curve again next next property is the point that corresponds to u on the bezier curve is weighted average of all control points where the weights are coefficients of this okay so we will not go in detail with this at the time of solving the problems we will come to know but initially you have to uh, you have to know only this much thing that every control point is having some weight pratyek control point la some weight is attached and that the curve is giving you the average weight of all the control points so that is the thing what is the meaning of u what is the meaning of this uh, blending function that we will see in the uh, coming lectures okay so the point that corresponds to u on the bezier curve is the weighted average of all control points so any point if i am taking so if i am taking this particular point on the bezier curve so it has the weight associated and that weight is nothing but the average weight of the control points near it so we are going to consider the weight at 0 weight at 1 weight at 2 weight at 3 and so on so by considering the average weight of these control points i can find out the weight at u that is the property okay so this is very important property of the bezier curve that if on the same control point if i am attaching two weights that is nothing but at this point i am having p1 also and p2 also so multiple control points at the same it's okay next one take okay so here if i am having the multiple control points at the same point i will show you with example see earlier apan ka hota these are the four control points of the bezier curve bezier curve is passing through the uh first and last point and these control points have impact on the shape so this is your normal bezier curve with four points now at this particular point if i am making the weight double that means at this point again i am having control point 1 and control point 2 or suppose this is your control point 0 this is your control point 1 control point 2 and control point 3 earlier and now i am attaching p4 also here ek control point ajun mi yaach point var jar vadhavla asel tar kay hoil ha original shape hota but due to increased weight the shape of the curve is slightly bending towards the new point so due to that multiple control points multiple control point yaats position la maya kade multiple points hai so multiple control point at a single coordinate position gives more weight to that position so i am going to give more weight to that position that's why curve will bend towards that uh, multiple control point so that is uh, the property of the bezier curve so in short 
as i am increasing the control points suppose i have increased one more control point over here after p4 p5 then it may pass or it may come more closer to the particular point okay so that is nothing but the uh, multiple points is having impact on the curve shape next next is the closed bezier curve so it is kind of a circular bezier curve so it is a closed bezier curve are generated by specifying the first and last control point at the same position obviously because the curve is passing through the first and last control point if both are same that means you are going to get the complete circle so circular bezier curve so if i am going to have the first and last control point at the same location that means the curve is going to pass through both and that's why i'm going to get the circular in short after this 8 suppose 0 and 8 are at the same point then i will be getting this type of closed bezier curve so it can be circular or it cannot be म्हणजे तो सर्क्युलर असेल तर असं नाही पण तो क्लोज असेल सो दॅट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द बिझियर कर दॅट इफ आय एम हॅव्हिंग इफ आय वॉन्ट टू गेट द क्लोज बिझियर कर देन युअर फर्स्ट कंट्रोल पॉइंट शुड बी ऍट द सेम पोझिशन ऍज दॅट ऑफ युअर लास्ट कंट्रोल पॉइंट ओके so how to design the bezier curve that we will learn okay but before moving to that i will show you some it is the time increase okay so till this particular point if you have any doubt you can ask कार्यालय okay all the students please check whose mic is on okay right okay if you have any doubt you can ask or else we will see the uh, difference between bezier and b spline curve and then we will see this designing of the bezier curve
मेमोन लिटो पॉइंट्स असतील तर समन इज स्पीकिंग only two points then it will form the line only because if two points are there and the compulsory condition of bezier curve is it should pass through end points if i am having only two points then according to the property of the bezier curve it is passing through both the points and that will give me a linear structure because there is no weight associated with the control points control point as nahi at the moment there will not be any change in the shape so you are going to get the straight line over there is there any other difficulty okay so let us see uh, the blending function or the basis function of the bezier curve okay so it is the uh, blending function of the bezier curve or it is also called as basis function so this function is same as that of earlier slide that we have considered so here cu or it is also called as the blending function uh, or basis function of the bezier curve it has the uh, parameters or it has the number of points which is ranging from 0 to n where n is the degree of the bezier curve that means n is degree means total number of points will be n plus 1 right because there is relation that jevde control points are still minus 1 is equal to your degree so here the summation is taken from the 0th point up to n that means the total number of points and n is acting as the degree here then what is this pk so pk is nothing but the uh, weight associated with it and bk is the uh, blending function so pk is nothing but the we can say k as k value is changing from 0 to n so we can say that this is your control point at k location so it can be 0 1 2 3 so we are if we are having the cubic bezier curve that means the control points are ranging from 0 to 3 so k value is also changing from 0 to 3 so it is the control point of the bezier curve and weight associated with that control point then what is this bkn so bkn is the blending function and it has this particular formula <coughs> so here the uh ckn u raised to n 1 minus u k minus n so here kn is uh, ckn is nothing but the we are going to calculate in terms of factorial k factorial divided by n factorial uh, into bracket k minus n factorial so this formula i am going to put over here and then i am changing the value of k and n respectively then i will be getting the 
blending function so blending function is nothing but to make the curve more smooth so what is the value i should use here so that the curve that i am getting will be more smooth in nature like uh, the number of points more are still magically if i am having the more number of points then in that case the it should look like a curve not like joining the straight lines ha asa disayla nahi pahije ki to स्ट्रेट लाइन ने जॉइन के सेगमेंट्स ने जॉइन के सो इनस्टेड ऑफ दैट इट शुड लुक लाइक अ स्मूथ कर्व एंड टू गिव दिस स्मूथ इफेक्ट वी आर गोइंग टू हैव दिस ब्लेंडिंग फंक्शन सो दैट ब्लेंडिंग फंक्शन इज डिपेंडेंट अपॉन अगेन द के एंड एन वैल्यूज सो वट इज द करंट वैल्यू ऑफ के एंड वट इज द डिग्री ऑफ बेजियर कर सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन दैट यू आर गोइंग टू कैलक्युलेट CK, CK n, and u raised to n. So here u is the parameter because we are knowing that u, uh, uh, that is the parametric representation, and that's why we are going to take the parameter as u. So we will see in detail uh, whenever we are solving the example on this. So you will be knowing how to change from k zero to three if cubic curve is there. then these values how they are changing in terms of u and 1 minus u right so that is the bezier curves expression it is fixed so you have to learn it or you have to by heart it that is k is ranging from 0 to n pk that is the weight associated at control point and bkn that is the uh, blending function which has a fixed value like C K N U S to N one minus U K minus N, so that is the uh, Bezier curve is represented in the parametric way. It is the representation of Bezier curve in a parametric fashion. So here also we are using the same function, and here the weights are associated with B K N. That is the blending. okay so you can see here the blending function or the uh, bezier function is written as p of t and where 0 1 2 3 they are the control points and that's why you are changing the value of b also so the blending function at 0 blending function at 1 blending function at 2 and blending function at 3 so it is the addition summation of all those blending functions and what is this 1 minus t cube 1 minus t square that we are going to learn so for that uh we are having that expression n factorial divided by n factorial divided by n huh hmm now these are the uh, blending function we are going to have different <coughs> these are the control points having the parameters 1 0 manje ithe tumhi p 0 p 1 p 2 p 3 mhatla tari tes yail fakt ithe capital b 0 vaparle manje 1 ani 0 mala ithe use karaycha One and zero. I am going to use over here to calculate the uh, expression. So we are having this formula to calculate the blending function C K N. That is n factorial divided by k factorial into bracket n minus k factorial. So whenever I am changing the value of uh, k. You are going to get a different value. For example, k ch value jema zero asel, thema n minus zero, n ch value atta four control points set. Control points are four, so degree n is equal to three. Mag mi kya karna re? Three factorial divided by zero factorial into bracket three minus zero factorial. 
So what is the ultimate answer I am going to get? Three minus zero. Three factorial divided by three factorial. So when your first uh, function is there or at zeroth position, this c k n will return the value equal to one. C k n will return the value equal to one. So this one value I am going to make use in this function. Similarly, for the n uh, for k equal to zero, this is the value. So I will write over here. When k value is zero, I am getting the c c k as a function. The output mala mete one. When k value becomes one, then what will happen? Here one factorial will be there. Three minus one. That is two factorial. So three factorial divided by two factorial. Ka yeh answer three. So. When I am having k equal to one, c is having value three. That's why you are going to observe here with the zeroth term there is multiplication factor as one. In this second term, the multiplication factor is three because k value is one, so c value is three over here. Next ka hoil ata k chhi value two hona re. So here three factorial divided by two factorial. And three minus two, that is one factorial. So ultimately, three factorial divided by two factorial. So again, C's value will be equal to three. And he three chi value me three use kartiya. And he t square into bracket one minus t kaya the apan bagna rata zun. So by using these things, and last la jema k chi value three s l. Then my three factorial divided by three factorial in bracket three minus three factorial yield. So ultimately, we are going to get c value as one. So you can see here, I am going to use one over here. That is nothing but the multiplying factor. So c value is one three three one. That is used in the first expression, second expression, one three three and one over here, right? So these are the c values that I am making use of, and b zero, b one, b two, and b three are the coordinates of these control points. And this is the expression that we are going to make use of the the parametric uh, representation. We can call it as so the parametric representation along with t. Okay, so here C is used to calculate this, and the blending function that we will see uh, in the next slide. Okay, so here B zero is replaced by one comma zero. See, B zero is one comma zero, then three comma three is B one, B two is six comma three. And B three is eight comma one, so I am replacing here these values B zero, B one, B two, and B three by those four values. Okay, so these are the four values. That is your expression number one. And how to get these things? That is one minus t cube. How I am getting this expression? For that we will have the uh, actual. Uh, we can say the derivation part of that, but for that derivation, uh, we will see that derivation in the tomorrow's lecture because it is a larger one. How to get these expression one minus t cube, one minus t square, and all. So that we will see in the next lecture as already the time is up. So only remember that we have covered this c part. C is nothing but n factorial divided by k factorial into bracket n minus one factorial, and due to that, you are getting the multiplying factor as one, three, three, and one. So you have to remember this thing only, and the later uh, derivation part we will see in the coming lecture.
Okay. So we will stop for today.